July 19th. It is the 37th day of being on the road. told a long time ago that one machine was never going to make it in this business because just because custom harvesters are more than just one combine but here we are almost 40 years later still doing what we love this year is probably one of the hardest ones that we've had so far it's not been easy for the past 10 years it seems that with less and less wheat acres that the farmers are planting and the weather causing issues for us, uh, it's just not worked. And it's not just us. I'm the one who's telling you the story. I would be willing to bet that if we had a whole round table full of harvesters, they would be in agreement with me, whether it's one combine or 10. So the comment that we should just hang it up has really bothered me. And now today, to see Jim's mental state being the way that it is, it bothers, bothers me even more because we put our life out here. We put everything that we own on the line. We have all of the income that we basically count on from Montana just disappeared because of weather and grasshoppers. That's not anything in our control. We have nothing that we can do about that except to find more acres to work. And that's very difficult. It's not just for us, it's for so many other harvesters out there. We're not the only ones looking for a job. There are harvesters with way more combines than we have who are in the same boat as we are. Again, I'm just the one telling the story. So the comment that was made worked on me. If that's what it was supposed to do, you did a good job. In the meantime, we will keep hoping and praying because that's what this industry is all about, is prayer and faith, it has to be. We have nothing to fall back on. So we will keep praying, keep hoping that something will come available that will keep us out here doing the job that we love. And I guess I would ask for you to also pray for us. Not just for us, pray for all of the harvesters, for all of the farmers, for anybody involved in agriculture right now because it's just not easy. And now it's time for me to get to work. How much longer that will be, who knows? But we'll do it as much and as often as we can, as long as we can. How are you this morning, Jack? I don't know, I'm kind of tired because it late last night. Yeah, I'm just tired. You said you stayed up too late? <laughs> Why'd you do that? Because we were in the field until 10 and then I was just hanging out when I got home. So. Gotcha.
this field appears to be doing fairly well. Right now it shows 75 bushel. Eighty bushel. Eighty five. Sweet is just a little bit dirty, just a little. Look at that header. Jim and I really hope that you enjoyed today's daily update. If you did, why don't you give it a thumbs up for us? We'd like to know that. And be sure to hit the subscription button and the bell notification so that you know when the next video is up and ready to watch. Thank you and we're so glad you're along with us for the journey.